Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the lack of female prog programmers in software development. So let's get into it. Well, as you may have noticed, uh, although I have very feminine features in certain areas, uh, I'm not a girl, or well, I'm not by like, I wasn't born a woman at least. And that makes this may possibly something that might feel controversial to some people, but I'm hopefully not going to step on any toes or anything like that. I'm just going to try to give my most objective and, well, my experience based on the female programmers that I know and that I work with every day and what I can see from within the industry that is, uh, from within the industry that is a bit of a problem. So I will argue that the main reason, like there's basically two main reasons why we like quite a lot of female developers in software development. And a big hint to the girls out there who are actually interested in programming, you have no idea how much you are, like, the, val the value you hold in the IT marketplace. It is insane. To the point where some company, like, uh, I, I have spoken to, to recruiters where, I, and I'm not joking here, they charge more money, up to sometimes up to three times what they charge to find a male developer to find a female version. Uh, just, just because you are female. And if that's not sexism, I don't know what it is. What is? But hey, considering all the shit that you girls have to take on a regular basis, I feel that this is just, you know, it's okay. I'm, of, I'm fine with that you are worth more in uh, IT than I am. Just saying. And so, I mean, there, it's not like the industry doesn't want female developers. So if it's not a lack from wanting developers, then I can, uh, as from based on what I've talked to my coworkers and my female friends who do programming, there's only two things that seem to really make this, uh, can cause this lack in the first place. So first and foremost, we need to accept that just, you know, developers in general are rare. It's not just a female or male thing because it is a big investment to become a programmer. We should just respect that first and foremost. It's not an easy thing to do. It is tricky, it is hard to do programming. So with that out of the way, the first and foremost thing is culture. So basically it's, I would argue it's a very similar thing to how you, ha you have a, well, society has a mental picture of what professions are suited. Like you start your path in life at a very young age and you get shaped by your environment into different roles. And even if your parents, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very hard and abstract thing to define, especially for me to do that in just a few minutes of a video. But even if you are the most gender neutral family in the world, the society around you is not. And until such a point where we get to a situation where like a I'm not saying a fantasy world, but a utopian version of the tr tr truly uh, gender neutral society where you are not just at a logical level try to, uh, trying to convince people that may, um, uh, females and males are equal. You are going to have people to affect your kids and they're going to get shaped into these gender roles at some point. It's getting better than it was a few hundred years ago, but we're not there yet. In a similar way, we have these we we have these mental pictures of in in career in in the career world as well that females seem to favor certain like uh, certain roles, whereas males favor different ones. An example, I mean, if we want to flip that, if you look at nurses like um, medical personnel, where it's a lot, it's actually very common that you have a female working in that profession, while it's a little, a little bit rarer to have a male. It's the same thing with daycare centers, things of this nature. So it's like this in this inequality with gender is not specific just in one direction. It's actually, or it's not a problem just in one direction. It's a problem in both directions. And if it's tr true in both directions, it has, it, it doesn't have to do with the gender necessarily. It has more to do with the way our society perceives the gender and the role that uh, of, the, of the worker. Uh, an example is that I had an old riddle where it was told to me that I've told a few like truly, well, gender neutral people or people who, you know, they didn't claim that they have no prejudices at all. And the riddle basically goes something like, 
a father and his son are driving a car and they get into a car accident. The son wakes up in the hospital and in walks the doctor and says, Good morning, my son. How is this possible? It's Because the doctor is the boy's mother. Most people actually can't answer the riddle because their mental picture of a doctor with a, expressing him or herself in that fashion with this kind of fatherly cold tone mentally think of a man but then that's kind of the point of the riddle if you didn't hey you're less sexist than everybody uh, or that, than most people but that's one part of it the second part of it is the fact that we already have the same so we have a lot of men within the industry and all of you may not think that that is a a hindrance there's actually some people feel that uh, th there is a and this is true to a point it depends on the company it's another video that I made a while back where I touch on this idea it was actually about beer in this scenario where if you build a company where there is this fraternity type of culture where you have a bunch of guys in their mid-20s or early 30s who all just drink beer together and you know they make jokes and stuff like that they have this very like brutish type of hey we're a sports team fraternity type of thing going on I mean Imagine being a, like, it doesn't, I mean, you have to be a fairly emotionally strong woman to want to work in that environment or to deal, or to, you know, you have to be a very specific type of person to want to work in that environment. And that is, I mean, that's not just in IT. I mean, the same thing goes for, I mean, how many women struggle with trying to be, to go into the military or the police force or fire, you know, like firefighters, things of this nature, where this, you uh, I mean, and to a point, this is to be expected. If you have a bunch of guys who are just kind of hanging out all the, all the time together, they will start to create this very like, little, little nested group where, they're, where you have a certain way of behaving and that it's a very complicated thing to you know, pinpoint why this happens. But the same thing is true for uh, uh, immigrants as an example, where you come for, to a new country, you don't really speak the language, but you have friends and family around, okay, neighbors that all are from your region of the world, and you can understand each other. So of course, you're very naturally going to create this little clique or this little closed, uh, almost closed type of society because it feels safe, it feels secure. It damages your, uh, it damages the immersion into the society, but it, you know, it's a, it's a very human thing. And the same thing goes for, you know, for IT. You have a bunch of people who seem to have your same value system, they happen to be the same gender, and you start behaving in a very specific fashion. And that's why it's actually funny because quite a lot of companies are realizing this now that if you don't think about that gender equality type of thing fairly early on and you get too many men into the company, it might actually be very tricky for you to get the, like to start getting that fifth magical ratio that people talk about 50 50 because as i said getting those first women in is actually very tricky if you've already established this very male dominated like it can still work but it depends on the guys who are actually working in the company i have a a friend of mine she works in logistics a logistic administrator and i mean she is she is 20 six and she's you know an attractive 26 year old woman working in logistics in this fashion and we she was we were talking to me about this yesterday and I mean we can joke about it together because hey we know each other and but it's still a sad fact she was telling me about all these elderly men middle-aged guys who make you know inappropriate jokes and things like that and you know they have daughters themselves in roughly her age and I kind of go well yeah I'm sorry to say but you're in the one of the world's most male dominated professions and most of the people like from experience because i used to when i was younger work in logistics i mean it wasn't uncommon that you work, walked in into the head office in the morning just getting your coffee and somebody made a like a like a joke a, a complete a sexist or a racist joke it was just com like common practice i mean this has to do with uh, quite a lot of things but that sort of culture or behavior is very common in that in that industry and as I said you imagine how many people you find that are you know, females you find working there that's going to be even less because the as I said the entry 
or feeling comfortable in that environment requires even more from you as, uh, as a woman. So that's at least what I think about this. So what I want you to take away from this is that from my perspective at least, the reason why we lack females in, or quite a lot of female programmers, has number one to do with a society, like a society thing, where we have a, like society has a fairly established pattern of making people, putting people into different roles. You can break these, of course, and quite a lot of people do on both sides. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but it's not something, I mean, we are not, let's just be honest here. There is no true, true equality at this point. We're working towards it, but true equality doesn't exist just yet. Second thing is that since there's already quite a lot of men working in IT, depending on the sort of men that are working in it, and it doesn't have to be ID, IT, it just has to be like, how welcoming are they? to change their behavior, to may accommodate a person like a female who may not have the same way of thinking or want, appreciate the same sort of behavior. And that's a, that's a tough balance because one part is that, okay, you want to meet them halfway so that you know, they feel welcome. But at the same time, you don't want to surprise, force the men who are already working to change their behavior too much because then they, get, they feel resentment towards the woman who is actually trying to join the group. It's a thing that we've seen quite a few times in other industries where, you know, management tries to force in women into, uh, into the ranks and they get resented uh, and actually quit because of that resentment. So it's a, it's a very tricky thing to, to, do, to solve in an efficient manner. But these are at least some of the main reasons, I think, as to why it's happening. Have a great day.